Okay, you go. Hey, how goes it? I'm Ken Bozek from pureblockchainwealth.com where we talk about putting your wealth on the blockchain. I'm here with Endorse. Can you tell us a little bit about Endorse and how it does what you do? Okay, so Indoors is basically a skill validation company where we cater on bridging the gap of frauds, people that put on skills that they do not have. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually an issue that's been in the market for decades, right? Companies hiring frauds, people just... Right, like, I know how to do painting, I can paint your house. Yeah, but who invented that? What is the proof you have? So, for example, in LinkedIn, um, like, let's say you, you are a JavaScript coder. Right. right. So, you, what you do is like, put your CV in LinkedIn, you, you claim that you have a JavaScript coding skill. So, how do you buff up that skill? If you ask your friends, your colleague, whoever you know in LinkedIn to endorse you. Right. So, that questions credibility in that part. So, they're giving me some of their credibility, making me more credible. Yeah, but again, they don't even know know whether you are really job supporter, right? <laughs> yeah. they're just your friends that support you. They're just you. doing me a favor, so yeah. it could be a fraud. Yes. So in indoors, the idea is if you claim that you have a JavaScript skill, you have to upload a proof of claim. That's one. Okay. Of your password. Second thing, you have to answer an AI chatbot that you develop. So you have to answer this question in probably one minute. Then this answer and your proof of claim will go to the blockchain. Then in the blockchain, it will, set, it will be spread out into a consensus community of JavaScript professionals who you do not know who they are. So you cannot be biased. You cannot ask them to endorse you. You cannot like give them money. Bribe them. Yeah. yeah. So these people will then look into your skill set, your proof of claim, and the answers that you have in a chatbot. And they will validate whether are you really a good JavaScript coder or are you just a fraud. So what if I want to hire somebody? How would I, as like an employer or looking for uh, seeking uh, somebody with the skill, how would I go about hiring somebody through your platform? So right now we are actually work, we are not going to be a job worker company. But what you're going to do is that's why you're working with looking for partnerships. So like for example, we are in a couple of uh, job worker companies oh, where cool. they have their users to be in the indoors. So you're the resume the to them being the uh, the temp agency. Yes. I can dig that. Yeah. So when a, when this company goes into get clients from corporations that want to hire someone, for example, they will look at the resume and imagine there is a sign that says, oh, this guy's skills has been validated by indoors. This guy is credible in what he's saying. Okay, cool. So that is what's going to change the future as well. Now, what if um, somebody passes, you know, with the past proof of work and answers the questions but is proven to not be who or as skilled as they have proven to be. Uh, how can you keep them from reapplying or is there anything set where if I try to be endorsed before but I was caught you know trying to fraud the system in a way? Is there any way to keep me from We re-entering? have uh like, profile points okay. like the rating system. If you try to game it, you you have a lower score. And the more lower people can you see it, this guy is like a troll man. Like, ignore him. Okay. Yeah, and our system will be able to detect such people with those scores as well. So that's hmm. what, how we came doing it as so. well. That's interesting. So who is your, you know, demographic? Who are you trying to market so, towards? Is it me trying to be credible? Or is it businesses looking to hire people who are credible? You can do both ways, right? Right. So for, the thing is, right now, in the current knowledge economy system, in current medical uh, skill set, when a, when a person just graduate or they work a couple of years, so what is the key thing that they want to do to increase the credibility of a human being? Mm-hmm. So what they do is they want to get ways to get validated. They want to get ways to tell the world that, look, I'm not just a guy who can do this. I'm a guy who has been validated by other people that I can do this. Right? So that is one risk for the user side. For the company side, of course, when you want to hire someone as a CEO or as a HR manager, right. you definitely need to find someone who is really what they are, compared to the job description that they have. Right? So, you may, there's a lot of cases right now, actually, as we're talking, people are having thoughts. So, what is like one of the biggest hurdles that you are facing right now, and how do you plan to overcome that? I think mainly about the hurdles part, you need to speak to my CEO the best. That's my CEO, Gaurang. So he, he just hey, mentioned that. Right. My name is yeah. Ken Bozak. We're doing a YouTube video here. Yeah, I was please. wondering um, what is one of the biggest hurdles that Indoors has right now and how do you plan on overcoming that? Yeah, great. So the idea 
is that right now on indoors we can do skills validation. Uh, we can validate skills or anything, even companies, right? Okay. But one hurdle that we are facing is that what happens after you validate your skills? Ah. Right? What's the end goal? Right. What's the end point with this? So right now we are rewarding them with tokens based on their activity on the platform. But we want something beyond that as well. And for that, we are partnering with companies uh, who provide job listings and jobs on their websites. Like Monster because, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, some other companies, some other companies like Monster in the ICO space as well. Okay. So just yesterday we had a meeting with Job.com and we might be partnering that's with big. Them. Yeah, That's big. Yeah. That's big. So, How yeah. would that work out? How would they incorporate what you do with their pre-existing platform? So the idea is that from indoors, uh, see indoors is about validations. Right. right? Like a, basically a digital resume. Uh, exactly. Actually, I would go beyond that. I would call it a digital backpack. Okay. Yeah, so I'm speaking at 1040 right now, so I'm speaking more about that. The idea is that it can be your digital backpack on the blockchain. All your certificates and skills and validations can be stored in that backpack, right? Right. So what we do is we validate your skill, we validate you as a professional. And beyond that, we push you to the job listing websites. Nice. Because as a company, I don't want to be doing job listings because that's not my niche. Right. My forte is about validations. Yeah. And that's what I do. You don't want to spread yourself out too thin. Um, so, what is something in the works that Endorse is doing that is uh, different than anybody that might be doing the same thing? Because there's a lot of uh, competition in this space. So actually we are coming up with a feature right now. Uh, it's called company and advisor validations. Okay. So right now in the ICO space, you see that there are so many scam, many, many scam companies. Many companies just keep adding advisors to their websites. Mm -hmm. Think Tim Draper, Charlie Shrem. It is added to the, the advisors, yeah. yeah. So on indoors, we are trying to solve that in a very simple way. So we have created a connection smart contract. Right? So in this contract, as a company, you send a connection request to the advisor. And the advisor will actually just do a handshake, saying that I am an advisor to this company. So you know they're not just adding a random picture and name to a white paper. So if uh, next time when you go on indoors company page and you click on any advisor, you will see two transactions going to the contract. And that will actually trustlessly prove that you know you are validated. Oh, that's going to that's going to ruin a lot of scammy ICU's <laughs> plans. Yeah, right. they're going to have Vitalik and Roger Beer on everything, and they're going to be able to you're going to be able to verify. So you have your own cryptocurrency for indoors. Right? Uh, yes, we have token. How does that gain value for somebody who wants to be a holder and, and an investor in it? How does that coin gain value? How is yeah. it used? So IND, is a, IND token is a utility token on the platform. It's uh, given as a reward to the people who are active on the platform and also to the companies. Oh, cool. So what happens is uh, the revenue that we generate is in the form of IND tokens. So advertisers, HR companies, or any companies who want to create a company page and you know validate their advisors, they'll be paying us through the IND tokens. Uh, and these tokens in, in turn go back to the users of the platform based on the activity. So to interact with the platform, they have to purchase your tokens. So there, there goes the value given. That's pretty smart. I like that. Thank you. Hey guys, make sure you check out Indoors. That's I-N-D-O-R-S-E. All right, guys. Thank you and have a day. Thank you, guys.